If you've used a terminal at all in FreeBSD for any length of time, then you've probably used NeoFetch. Now this wonderful little ASCII-based tool is a delight to see because it can give you a summary of your system in a nice graphical and user-friendly way. But unfortunately, it's no longer being developed. But fear not, if you're a fan of such things, and I, I am, then there are alternatives that we can use in FreeBSD. First of the alternatives is FastFetch. Well, I say an alternative, it's almost a drop-in replacement for NeoFetch. It's highly customizable, just like NeoFetch was, and it gives a lot of details in a lot of the similar presentation style. Now, FastFetch, in this particular case, gives you more details than you need, and if you want to perhaps, I don't know, condense it, there are plenty of opportunities to do so in the uh, plenty of the toggles and switches for this. And as you can see, we're just going to scroll up, and as you can see, there are a lot. So if you want to tweak the colour, the shorten sentences, give some information, text them away, it's all available there. So give it a look. Check it out. Next up, we've got ScreenFetch. Oh, yeah, ScreenFetch is it's slightly smaller in scope, but nonetheless, just as... Uh, useful you can see it's also highly configurable and you can change the logos and say you know do all these kind of things in a way i prefer this to the previous fast fetch and even neo fetch itself um it's default out of the bat it's uh, more condensed and just gives you the summary so if that's your thing i mean that's fine if not i think also in the command line the switches for screen fetch while not perhaps as comprehensive uh, as fast fetch lets you still, you know, still lets you customize a lot of the display. Um, as you can see, there's not as many, um, but still a lot. And the list of supported window managers and, and uh, other things like that is quite, you know, it's quite large. So I don't know. For me, I like screen fetch. It's a good compromise between the extra simple ones, as you'll see them coming up, and the really uh, verbose ones uh, of NeoFetch and fast fetch so screen fetch to me is a nice middle ground so uh, check it out it might be your cup of tea it might not be you might uh, prefer one of the other ones in which we'll have a look at some more simple options next up we've got machina or is it machina or machina and this is uh, an unusual one because it's Installed via Cargo. Now, you have to install Cargo first, and then it's Cargo Install Machina. But once it's done, if you go to the Cargo directory, and then you can just uh, execute it as you would any binary, and there we go. Now, it's very simple. Um, again, like the previous one, it might be your cup of tea. I think it's even less uh, configurable than the others. But, you know, it's, it's very quick. Um, Having to install Cargo first might be a downside, but, you know, check it out and uh, have a look. And as we we'll look at the command switches, again, you know, it gives the options to uh, expand the information if you want. But the default display is quite succinct, I think. Again, you have to install Cargo. That can be a, 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 a something that perhaps doesn't let you try this out, but you know, give it a, give it a try. You might like it. Now next we've got BSD EB fetch, BS deb fetch, or BSD deb. I don't know how you pronounce it. So it's BSD deb fetch, I think. And it's very small, very fast, and very uh, to the point. It'll give you the version, the uptime, uh, number of packages, and the date. And that is it. It's a very small uh, implementation of the usual fetch program. But you know, it, it, it's uh, quick and easy. And sometimes you might want that. And very minimal uh, command line switch. Yeah. I like it. It's something that you could just quickly just rattle off if you just want to uh, copy and paste.
the one we've got next is CPU fetch. Now, this is slightly different. This really gives information about uh, your CPU and not your, well, I suppose your overall system. It just really just gives it about your CPU. And, of course, you can see on the left-hand side, you've got a whopping great uh, logo, which obviously will change depending on your CPU. But, yeah, this is uh, one of the things if you just want to show off your CPU, you might want to do that. And it has quite a lot of options there, and some of them you can change your fancy or retro or legacy styles. I'm not going to show you on this, but it just really comes down to sort of using ASCII art, um, black and white, and that kind of thing. So, yeah. It's quite comprehensive, and it's cross-platform as well. So you can uh, ring up your uh, Linux mates, and uh, you can compare your systems if you want. You might not want to do that, but if you do, there it is. Coming up next is pfetch. This is uh, another small alternative. And as you can see, it's uh, very small. It's very much like uh, Machina or Machina. Uh, it gives you just the uh, the basic information. And again, that's might might be what you want. I do like the logo. I think the logo looks pretty good, you know, giving it a bit of uh, ASCII art. And the options are uh, that. <laughs> no, that's it. There's really no options. You can see the, uh, the version, the debug mode, and... Uh, that's it, really. Yeah, it's very nice. And lastly, but not leastly, uh, is Ufetch, uh, another small alternative. It will give you just the basic information. Uh, it's kind of weird how it does the kernel, like uh, generic 1401000. That's, uh, that's the number. I've not seen it presented like that before. But yeah, it gives you the uh, generic information. Not too much. And it gets to the point. And there's no uh, command switches. Well, that's basically all you get. So yeah, give these uh, give these a look, these alternatives. If you can still use NeoFetch, then still use NeoFetch. Uh, it's still available, it just won't get developed anymore. But if you want to use some alternatives, have a look at the what's listed in this video. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.